Fellow Africans and global citizens, less than 10 days ago, we gathered at the African Union headquarters in Addis Ababa with captains of industry in Africa who rallied to the call of the African Union to discuss coordinated approach to the Ebola crisis. We are grateful for the insights to the common African and global challenge. We shared information on what the African Union and the private sector companies are doing to ensure an Africa and a world free of Ebola. We all agreed that there was an urgent need to mobilize Africans and coordinate all our efforts towards containing and reading the three countries, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea of Ebola, and the rest of Africa. Ten days on, I'm pleased to say that African Business Roundtable is well on its way in implementing the coordinated actions adopted at the meeting. At that meeting, we received pledges for financial contributions to the AU private sector Ebola fund to the amount of 32 million 600,000 United States dollars from the MTN group 10 million US dollars, African Development Bank, 10 million US dollars, the Dangote Group and Trust, 3 million US dollars, Econet Wireless, 2.5 million dollars, Motsepe Family Trust, 1 million dollars, Kennevik Group, 1 million US dollars, Africsim Bank, 1 million US dollars, Coca-Cola, Eurasia in Africa, 1 million US dollars, Vital Group, 1 million US dollars, Quality Group of Tanzania, 500,000 US dollars, Old Mutual Group, 500,000 US dollars, Net Bank Group, 500,000 US dollars, Barclays Bank Group, 500,000 US dollars. United Bank for Africa, UBA, 100,000 US dollars. Other companies that were present at the round table pledged their competencies, such as Deloitte and Touche, to audit services of the fund. Standard Chartered Bank, Logistics, General Electric to support the African Center for Disease Control, the Quality Group to assist in human resource and health kiosks, and the Vito Energy for Logistics. The telecommunications companies who attended the round table Africa, Airtel, Econet Wireless, Millicon, MTN, Safricom, Vodacom are working with other companies on a full multimedia campaign to raise resources and solidarity for African citizens. The African diaspora and others towards their fight against Ebola. The campaign will be launched on 1st December 2014 in Addis Ababa across the continent and other parts of the world. We are encouraged by the coordinated national private sector response, such as those by the Ethiopian Private Public Consultative Forum, and wish to encourage other national business chambers and associations to follow suit. We are finalizing the AU Private Sector Ebola Fund and have shortlisted a board for the fund with strong private and civil sector participation who will assist in managing the facility which will be hosted by the African Development Bank. Companies such as Votacom, Safaricom, even Humines, Africa Airtel Group, Standard Bank and Chartered 
who attended and actively participated in the round table undertook to further consult with their government structures regarding further pledges. I ask those companies to do so by 1st December as we intend to deploy all the health workers, a thousand of them by Christmas. The AU plans to upscale the deployment of health workers so that indeed by Christmas we will have at least a thousand in the affected countries. Let me also take this opportunity to extend our gratitude to the RECs and to all the countries which have already responded to our call to volunteer health workers. We also thank those health workers who have volunteered to go and assist their brothers and sisters. We are conscious of the urgent need for all of us to do more and to act faster. Only by acting together can we ensure that our continent and the world is free of Ebola. We therefore repeat our call to all Africans to lead the global efforts of solidarity with our brothers and sisters in Liberia, Sierra Leone, Ghana and elsewhere. Asante Sani, Karibu Africa, thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Shukran.